the the big topic right now is, is Moscone Cup. And, you know, you had mentioned earlier that you've always got to have a plan B and a plan C. Um, how, how certain are you that Moscone Cup is going to be able to go off the way that you would like it to? Um, good question. I think no matter what happens, the event, like I said, we will always deliver it 12 out of 10. If we can't have a crowd, then we will still deliver it 12 out of 10 because we will be creative and we will think of ways that the crowd can engage um, and the event will have its atmosphere despite not being able to have a crowd. But the main focus, even though it is a lot of hard work, you know, we witnessed it for the World Snooker Championship, you can put in relentless hours and then all of a sudden day one, you can be told there's no spectators. I would, I'm more than happy to put in the work right now to just have one hour of spectators for the Moscone Cup. So the way that we see it is that we're working hard at new seating plans. We're working hard with the government and we're also talking with the government constantly, um, talking about new regulations, new boundaries we can push, testing, um, and just what regulations are in place in order for us to get spectators in there. A little bit harder with the Moscone Cup audience and people need to understand that because the atmosphere is a lot more friendlier, a lot more, um, how do I say it, drunker, um, <laughs> it's a little bit harder to maintain social distancing and things like that. So it may be slightly easier to have an audience in for a snooker event than what it is for a darts or for a pool event so they're all factors that we really need to bear in mind um but we're not stepping our foot off the gas i i want spectators in there and i'm going to do everything i possibly can unless i'm genuinely told by the government that we can't we cannot we are aiming for spectators appreciate that a lot of people have booked travel booked accommodation and and we've kind of been obviously very quiet about the, the situation, but it's genuinely because we don't have a yes or no answer right now. Um, what we are trying to do is trying to have a seating plan approved by the government um, and to actually work with that because we have to maintain social distancing. But also December, it is still quite a while away. Things could have developed, things could have got worse, things could have got better. Um, so, yeah, we have a plan through A all the way through to Z. Um, and whatever happens, we're going to give it our all. And the outcome will be how we want it to be um, because we're not going to give up. So I know it's kind of not the answer that everyone wants. Everyone just wants to know whether we can have fans or not. But to tell you the real hard hitting truth, I don't know right now. And that is purely because of this current situation. We've got two, two events coming up where we hope to have spectators. Our Champion of Champions snooker event in November and our Moscone Cup in December. So what we need to do is put measures into place in order to make sure that if the situation worsens and we have to go behind closed doors and, for instance, our Championship League event in June was completely behind closed doors, but it was the first live sport back in the UK. Well, let's make sure that there's a plan, you know, a T in place so we can do that. So we are thinking of everything. Um, we want the event to go ahead. We're not gone quiet because we're just trying to keep everyone, you know, just ticked along and we don't want to share any news. We are just genuinely trying to. I mean, I could make an announcement tomorrow and say, right, Moscone Cup's behind closed doors. There you go, everyone. There's your answer. And that would be the easy route out. Um, because there is still hope for us to have spectators. So let's plan for that avenue. Let's see if we can do it, and let's try and deliver it. If not, <laughs> then we go to plan um, F. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's the overall view on it. Um, the whole aim for the beginning of lockdown is to, be, to try and be as transparent as possible to all the players, to all the fans. Um, but right now, it is just still, it is so uncertain for us. And things can change in the matter of hours. And I firsthand experienced it, witnessed it. 
So we just need to be, um, we just shouldn't make any brush decisions. Um, let's take each step at a time and, and just try to deliver the event.